Well, we actually ordered everything on the menu. Everything. We had the gamut. We ordered everything. The escargot, the salmon, the tartare, the velouté, the blue noir. So we had to take like what, an hour break? Yeah, we took an hour break before dessert. Yeah. <laughs> and the steak. And the carrot cake. And the creme fraiche panna cotta. When I created this concept, it was more for do a restaurant for my friends. Like, I, I love to be my friend, you come see me, glass of wine, we cook, we share, we share food, we talk about the food, you know, that's what I want. I don't want to see people come to the restaurant and, you know, come to judge me all the time, and the food critic, and all this thing, I'm tired of this thing, I'm tired of all this politics. Perfect dining experience, it's like having a dinner party at home. It's like perfectly set up, so you can order like every item with just four people, or sometimes two if you're really hungry. We've actually been to Little Bites 203, 40, 50, and now 60. Uh, probably twice on each occasion at least, if not a little bit more. My favorite dish this time was probably a tie between the foie gras and the Korean steak. It's amazing. We have the white rice velouté here. Some spinach, truffles, parmesan uh, bubbles. Pretty incredible. The second Ludo Bites. He's sort of single-handedly uh, changed how we eat in LA, I think, right? He was the first to do this whole pop-up thing and sort of legitimized it and popularized it at the same time. They're expecting something like, wow, you know, like something nobody created before. 